I did my right now exercise. Your instruction not to edit yourself or look back stifles me because I'm itching to look back and edit myself. So what happens if I do? Oh, I will come down and <laughs> I'll find you. <laughs> Uh, no, nothing will happen. <laughs> nothing will happen. Feel free to look back and edit yourself. Okay, so here's the reason I say don't look back, don't edit yourself, is because um, we tend to fall on one part of the spectrum. No, some people just reams and reams and reams of stuff, and then it's all it all goes out there and. And uh, wow, this whole editing thing is a big pain. I'm not really going to get to that. Uh, and then other people, wow, the first sentence, mm, the first word isn't quite what I want. So tinker, 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 tinker. <laughs> and then next sentence, it's a bit of a constipated approach. So, so I won't talk about the other end of the spectrum in that regard. But you know what I mean? So we tend to be, I think our just our personalities put us in one category or the other. Obviously, you know, most people live somewhere between, but we err on one side or the other. This exercise is for people who are this kind of writer. It's never quite, it's never quite good enough. And I'm edit, 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 edit. So the idea of not editing, not looking back, is, a, is an, the idea of, it's called free writing, which is, is, as the name suggests, it's about freeing yourself to write badly, to write imperfectly, to not get it right, and for right now, to not care. Because free writing is turning on a tap that people sometimes have pretty tightly controlled. And that can stifle us as writers. It doesn't just make us unproductive. It can do that same, you know, it can, it's, it can mute our, our voice, our, our free voice. And so sometimes it's fun to just let that flow, let it flow and don't look back. But if you're dying to edit and go back, yes, do it. I would suggest though, keeping draft one as it is, keep it as a record of what just came out. And, and don't judge yourself for that. Just see, oh, this is what happens when I just free write. And um, someone just posted, I think, in the Alumni Cafe, which is where people who've done this course um, go afterwards uh, to just hang out and, and you know, keep the fun going. They posted an essay by Annie Dillard, which I found absolutely brilliant. And she talked about why some people need to write long and why some people need to cons constantly edit. And, and I will confess, I am on this side. I mean, I perfect little, when I'm writing to write, I'm in there editing, editing, editing. I'm a very slow writer, very slow because I edit as I go. Now, I don't necessarily, that is my style. I've come to accept that, but I, I don't always think it serves me because I'm very slow <laughs> and I love it. I love having the chance to just free write because it does feel like it loosens, loosens my voice a bit. And so I think it's really helpful to just try these things on. This is one example of just these exercises are to, to get you writing in ways you don't normally write. It's, a, it's, it's to assemble a toolbox for you so that you, so that you both have the, you, you both have the experience of say, you know, the equivalent of painting with your left hand um, or, you know, singing in a register you don't normally sing in or playing an instrument you don't normally play. I mean, all of those things open us as creative beings and it always helps no matter what we do we now have this tool and that experience and we've we've moved into that you know that uncomfortable place because as i said in the last live teaching i think it was um everything that is really interesting about your creative voice is not going to feel comfortable <laughs> when you first find it which it doesn't mean that we we don't um we don't honor what we do naturally, but it's when we teeter outside of our comfort zone that we find, whoa, these real gems in, in both our lives, but also in our um, creative work as well.